Hi, my name is Kim Eagle. I'm the chair of the Gentac Alliance, powered by the Marfan Foundation. This is the second video in a multi-part series on COVID-19 and patients who have genetic aortic conditions. This week, I thought I would talk to you a little bit about uh, the concern I've heard from a number of my patients. That is, if I have a genetic aortic condition, am I more likely to have an aortic dissection or rupture if I get COVID-19? That's a very relevant question. Uh, certainly right now, we don't know the answer for sure, but we can draw some inferences from other things that we've seen uh, throughout the course of the last uh, several decades that can be meaningful. Um, First of all, the whole notion of what triggers an aortic dissection or rupture in a patient with genetic aortic disease is under active study. Certainly, we think that uh, things like blood pressure and sudden strain, heart rate can matter, but inflammation probably does play a role in some of these events. And we've seen that there's an increased risk of aortic dissection uh, during the winter months. Some of us have thought that perhaps this is due to more unusual exercise like snow shoveling or snow blowing, putting unusual stress on the aorta. But part of it could be also that the influenza virus that we see during these same time periods can cause inflammation. We know that the influ influenza virus can release cytokines that affect uh, vascular wall biology. This probably explains some of the increased risk of heart attacks that we see in the winter months. And it could also explain perhaps some of this effect in aortic dissection where we've seen an uptick in the number of aortic dissections that happen uh, during the winter. In fact, we've actually isolated influenza virus from the aortic wall of one of our patients that we operated on for an aortic dissection during the influenza season last year. So it does call to mind, could COVID-19 have some sort of a similar effect? We know that COVID-19 virus really causes very active inflammation. We can see this in the proteins that are released in the bloodstream. We obviously see it in the inflammatory response in the lungs and the kidneys and sometimes the heart. So it's possible that it also could affect the aortic wall itself. Um, if you ask the question, well, have we seen an uptick in aortic dissection uh, during uh, the COVID-19 surges around the world? The answer that I get is mixed. Uh, some centers have reported that they've seen fewer cases of aortic dissection. Others like our own, actually, we seem to have seen an increased risk of dissection during the same time frame. So we're not sure, and the jury is still out. One of the things that's really alarming, though, is that it appears that patients are staying at home with potential life-threatening conditions during this pandemic because they're afraid uh, that they might actually acquire the virus when they go to a hospital. Uh, we've seen actually uh, there is an increased risk of sudden cardiac death at home in populations during the pandemic. We've seen this recently in Michigan. We've seen it in Italy and in Spain. Um, also, studies have suggested that patients who have a heart attack are less likely to go to the emergency department during a pandemic because they're afraid of getting the virus. Our institutions have gotten a lot better in dealing with the surges in coronavirus, and we can keep patients safe. So if you have a genetic aortic condition and a symptom uh, that could be related to your aorta, particularly pain in the chest or back, arms, neck, jaw, head, uh, these are types of symptoms that should uh, drive you to go to the emergency department. Don't be afraid of getting the virus. What you want to be afraid of is having a misdiagnosis or delayed diagnosis of a serious aortic condition. Obviously, this virus uh, is causing uh, havoc around the world. We're still learning all things about it. Uh, we need to learn more about what it might mean for patients who have genetic aortic conditions. But I hope these few comments are of some value to you as you think about your own situation uh, and how to navigate. One final thought, if you have a genetic aortic condition, uh, you should get a flu vaccine this year. Uh, this is a re really important uh, thing for you to do. We really do believe that influenza virus does increase the risk of inflammation and may trigger dissection. This may also be true for COVID. So please, this year, 
get your flu vaccine, protect yourself against this potential uh, menace. This is Kim Eagle for the Gentac Alliance, powered by the Marfan Foundation. I hope you stay safe and well. I'm out.